All right, let's do this again. What up, YouTube man? Is here. So today, as you can see by the title, we're gonna be riding the 2021 Ducati Super Leggera V4. And this is all thanks to the guys over at Uninfluence. I mean, yeah, man. So this isn't my first time. I actually rode this a week ago or so, or you know, like something like that, this past Sunday. But we were just hauling ass, man. So I didn't get a chance to really like, like slow down, feel it. You know what I'm saying? And um, and get a feel for it because we were just. We were just on last, man. We were having some fun, so... Uh, obviously, the guys let me uh, pick it up and bring it to my house and, and take it for a ride, so... That's what we're gonna do. I wish I had curves, man. I wish I had a road where I can take it to curves, right? But I don't. I'm in Texas. If I wanna go get some curves, I gotta go like an hour out. And then if I wanna go to the highway, I gotta do a buck 80 to hit some turns, so, or curves. So I don't have that. So all y'all that commented on my other video about wanting some, you know, real, you know, riding straight or, you know, I, I gotta work with what I can, man. So what is going on here? Looks like somebody got an accident. Come on, man. I don't know what's going on here. But anyway, so we're gonna, I'm gonna try to give you a review, right? It's gonna be mainly highway riding, but um. Ooh. That thing spun right there on first gear. But okay, okay, so the first impressions on this bike, man, obviously is light. If y'all didn't know, this is one out of 500 um, um, units. They only made 500 of them. I think they make 500 every every three years or some shit. This bike is $100,000. It comes with a V4 998cc. It revs up to almost 17,000 RPM, insane. And it comes with carbon fiber, uh, swing arm, carbon fiber, sub fr um, frame, subframe, everything. This is the pinnacle of what Ducati has to offer. So this is one of a kind, guys. And so the bike is very light. It's very nimble. Obviously, you got the big winglet, winglets up front. Um, but other than that, man, uh, just from the last time I rode it, this bike is one of one as far as feelings. The way the power comes on around 10,000, 12,000 RPMs, it, it's, 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 it's crazy. It's like a, a switch. It's like a switch. It just goes from, you know, the down low is not great. The mid range is not great, really. But once the power comes on up top, it, it's pretty crazy. And then um, when the power comes on, it runs for forever. So that's crazy. Let's get a little lean. Yeah, man. 
Obviously, I already can't tell what I'm doing there, but those are some high-speed little sweepers. And um, this bike with the winglet is so planted. It's so planted, man. But it handles that pretty easy. Um, obviously, and the brakes. Oh my God! Ooh. But yeah, man, this bike. It's um, it's one of one. Like I said, it's one of one, bro. The feeling, the way it rests for so long. I've never. I mean, I haven't ridden a lot of bikes, right? But recently, obviously my ZX10. I've ridden the uh, RS before, the Panigale V4S, and now this. So this bike is completely different on how the power comes on. And then the feeling of it, it just feels so effortlessly. Look at this joint, this is a little second gear. Great, it handles great. Oh, this bike is brand new in stage two, I believe. So it's, it's you know, it's, it's, it's got, it's got all the power. It's not restricted. If you told me a month ago that I'll be able to get a chance to ride this boy, I would have told you you're crazy. And 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 not only that, the guys over at Uninfluence, they want me to ride it, ride it. They don't, you know, it, you know. I can't believe that, man. Like, these guys are so cool, man. Allowing me to take one of their bikes, you know. This bike is $100,000, guys. $100,000. I can't afford this bike. And they're trusting me, you know. So I really appreciate those guys over there, man. For, uh, you know, allowing me to ride this bike, you know. Because a lot of people won't even get to see this bike in person. And then some will. And then the other people that are going to be able to ride it, they might be able to ride around the block. But no, these guys are telling me, ride the bike. Ride it. You know, hey, that's insane, man. That's insane. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do my final review on this, right? Obviously, this bike is one of one. Like I told you on the filling, on how the engine fucking works, and how light it feels. Like the, like it, you can feel the engine is effortlessly when it gets to the power band. How effortlessly it pulls, right? And then it rests for for fucking ever, right? So it's a crazy ass feeling, man. It's a crazy ass feeling, right? So um, comparison to the other, the V4S, the 1100 motor. Um, and this one doesn't have the grunt as that one. That one doesn't have a lot of grunt either, right? But this one is more dead on the low end to mid range, and then it just fucking springboards you when it gets to like 11,000, just boom, power. Versus the V4S, it's more you can feel it come on like a regular bike, you know, like just you know, increasing like a curve, right? Um, but nonetheless, this bike is unique, it's badass, right? It's a hundred thousand dollars, right? Um, I would prefer the other one, you know, just because I, I like the, like, if you tell me what bike can I ride for my last ride, I would ride this one, right? But if you tell me what bike can I have just to ride around town and just do what I do, right, I would take the 1100 motor, even though that one's harder, it runs harder than this one, but just that feeling of the power, how it comes on, and I think when that one was, that one's flash, I think that one's faster than this one in a straight line, right? But other than that, this bike is amazing, bro, amazing, man, and again, the guys over at Uninfluence, man, I appreciate y'all.
Look at this thing, man. Carbon fiber swing arm, subframe, frame. I mean, it's carbon fiber everything, man. It's super light. I think it weighs like 260 pounds. 260 something wet. Something like that. I don't know. All the bolts are titanium. I didn't know that. I figured that out when I was taking some bolts off and just to make sure everything's tight. But, um, yeah, man. This bike is awesome. So, once again, I'm recording. Thank you for tuning in. Hopefully, there's more bike reviews, right? I'm going to hop back on my bike here soon. I, I just got a shock for it. So, no, I haven't forgot. ZX10 is still my, it's still where my heart's at. But, man, these Pinagatis, man, these, these Ducatis, oof, beautiful. But um, I appreciate y'all checking me out. Um, I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. So, peace.